YouTube, what is good? So today's video is gonna be some camera talk, which I don't always like to do on this YouTube channel because gear is not the most important part of the photography process. To me, it's an important part, but not the most important part. But today, we're tackling the question, should you buy a DSLR or should you buy a mirrorless? Spoiler alert, I think if it's your first camera, you should buy mirrorless. But today I wanna to break down my thoughts on this whole debate and why DSLR might be right for some people, why mirrorless might be right for a lot of people and just kinda of where this whole topic stands because I think this is just something that's gonna get even more polarizing going into the future. Now here's the thing with camera brands, DSLR versus mirrorless, all this stuff. People love to get upset when you say something that goes against what they're using or what they believe because camera brands are like tribes. People say, oh, I'm a Leica user, I ride or die with like I ride or die with Fuji film. I love Sony. Sony's the best camera. When I don't necessarily think that's a very good outlook to have, I think cameras are tools and you should be open to using any tool that gets you the best result and makes photography the most enjoyable for you. And that leads us into the first reason why I think DSLRs might still be great for a lot of people because the process on a DSLR is a little bit more manual. It's a little more traditional photography feeling. Real quick, quick backstory on me. I'm filming right now on a Nikon D810. It's the camera that I have used since I started photography, since I started professionally. Well, I've been using Nikon DSLRs since I started photography and through my entire career up until this point, I've used a Nikon DSLR and now, I'm considering switching to mirrorless for a number of reasons we'll talk about later. DSLRs, they have that traditional photography feel. You look through the glass, you see what's happening in real life out in front of you, and then you make the picture. And you gotta get the settings right, you gotta know what you're doing to get a good photo with a DSLR camera, and a lot of people like that. They like the manual, real feel that they're actually creating something with their camera. They're not cheating, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you like, maybe a DSLR is the way to go. Maybe a rangefinder is the way to go. I really enjoy that piece of the process as well. Well, another great thing about DSLRs going into the future, based on the trends and the way things are going with mirrorless becoming more and more popular and more emphasis being placed on mirrorless, DSLR cameras might get cheaper. So you might be able to get a professional level DSLR for less than a professional level mirrorless. Now granted, that's me just speculating on the camera market and the way things have been going, but if trends continue the way they're going, you're probably gonna be able to catch some deals because the technology is gonna start to be considered obsolete even though it's it's really not. Maybe in 20 years it'll be obsolete, but I think you got a good 10 years before it's really, you know, kind of out. And who knows, it might never actually become obsolete. We'll see. The third thing that makes DSLR something you can still consider is the lineage of the past attached to DSLR and SLR cameras. If you're a Nikon user, you can use any Nikon lens basically ever with a modern day Nikon DSLR. This basically means any option of lens that you would want for your DSLR camera already exists and you have access to it. Where mirrorless is so new, a lot of these camera companies are still figuring out different lenses, creating new lens lineups that work well with their mirrorless cameras and if you buy a mirrorless, the lens you want might not necessarily exist yet for that model. So you gotta adapt the older lens built for a DSLR and it's just, it's kind of a thing. So I don't know if that's something you care about, but if you do care about this back catalog of lenses, being able to find cheaper, older lenses, maybe DSLR is the way to go. Now, those are some benefits to DSLR, but there's a lot of benefits to mirrorless, especially if this is your first camera. Now this is a super important point I wanna make very clear in this video. If you're someone who already is in a DSLR system, you're like me, I've been using this Nikon D810 for years, all my lenses are built around it, it's probably gonna work for me for a few more years if I wanted to. You don't need to get rid of your DSLR right now. It's not like mirrorless camera technology is blowing your DSLR out of the water, even though, camera companies want you to think you need to switch all your gear over to these new mirrorless systems, sell everything, buy everything. They're looking to make money, so they're gonna hype it up that way. This video is more for people who are buying their first camera. We're at a point in time right now where if you're buying this first camera, mirrorless, I would recommend 90% of the time is the way to go for a number of reasons. But before we get into those, I wanna thank the sponsor on today's video, Skillshare. Head to the link in the description on this video. Skillshare is hooking up everyone on the channel with two months of Skillshare for free. And then when that free trial is done, you can get Skillshare for less than $10 a month. It's super affordable. And here's the thing with Skillshare. Today we're talking about cameras, all this stuff about gear. If you wanna actually learn how to use that camera, Skillshare is a valuable asset for you. They have so many classes on photography, taught by some of the best in the world. They have a class by Chris 
Burkhart. I've talked about this course before. The dude is one of the best on the planet. He is a world-renowned photographer, and you have access to his brain, his thoughts, and how he does things through Skillshare. So you can head to that link in the description, get two months of Skillshare for free, and then you can continue Skillshare for a super affordable price. And Skillshare isn't only for photography. They have classes in design, videography, art, fashion, business, money management, basically anything you can think of, it's on Skillshare. So thank you to them for sponsoring the video today. Now, mirrorless. Why is mirrorless such a good option if you're looking to buy your first camera? Because simply, it's where everything's going. Nikon putting out mirrorless cameras, Sony, obviously killing the mirrorless camera game. And then Canon is also putting out their mirrorless cameras. So everything is trending in this mirrorless direction and that's where a lot of the resources and innovation in cameras are going. So if you're just now getting started with photography or you're thinking of buying your first camera or your first real high level camera, yeah, mirrorless is gonna be the way you wanna go because just everything's gonna improve in that world where the DSLR world, me being part of it, I think it's just gonna slowly be there, but not really have much innovation and much added to it. It's gonna be this thing that's capped off. It lives over there by itself. It's still good, but if you want the newest, latest, and greatest technology, it's gonna be down that mirrorless road. And one great thing about mirrorless is the technology involved, big thing being EVF. Now I did mention how purist photography, real photography is looking through that viewfinder, seeing the world, nothing but, you know, maybe a few displays, maybe a meter, maybe your settings, and then making a photo and knowing you got the settings right. And that is great, it's a good skill to have, but it is very nice to look through your viewfinder and see exactly how your photo is going to look and know if you did make a small mistake in your settings or you're making a mistake in your exposure or you're reading light wrong. It's great to know that and have the digital readout of an EVF. Another thing too, because you have an EVF, if you're just using an LCD screen for playback, let's say you're out in the field shooting, you need to check something, it can be very difficult in the sun to see an LCD screen. But when you have this EVF, you can put it up to here, you can create almost like a shade effect and you can see see your playback. That's an underutilized big piece. When you're out shooting a lot, when you're in that harsh light, it's nice to be able to actually see what you're doing. So that is nice. The technology of mirrorless is a plus, but can also be a negative because like a lot of purists say, it, you know, it takes some of the learning out of photography. The other big thing with mirrorless that it has going is the obvious small packaging. I mean, look at how small this is. This is a full frame camera. When you compare this to a full frame DSLR, it's obvious which one you would want to pick up and carry. And this has become especially true for me over the last year. Ever since I started shooting on more mirrorless cameras, it's all I end up picking up. And you can see it in the videos on this channel. Almost every time we get out to shoot, I'm using either this or a Fujifilm as opposed to my Nikon because it's just more convenient. Now, a lot of people argue that, oh, the size isn't that big of a deal. It's not that much smaller, but it really is. You see, the camera market is trending towards small. That is the big thing that everybody is fighting over right now because of smartphones. See, cameras, they boomed. Digital camera sales were way up here, and then smartphones came in, and they took so many camera sales away because camera phones were convenient. They were easy to use. So now the big goal of camera companies is, how can I create a camera camera that is the most powerful piece of equipment possible, but is also the most convenient possible. So someone with a smartphone will still want to buy my device. And the smaller form factor of mirrorless cameras and the fact that they're becoming lighter and lighter is just going to continue to make photography more convenient and easier for people. That is a plus. That's what I'm all about. I want photography to be easy. I want it to be something that you want to do because it brings so much enjoyment to my life and everyone else's life. It's not a good thing when the camera and the size of the camera is holding you back from creating. But regardless of anything we've talked about in this video today, regardless of the size of the cameras, regardless of the convenience, the biggest thing that makes me think mirrorless is the way you want to go and not with a DSLR is because it's where all the technology and the innovation is trending to go. All these companies are putting all their energy into mirrorless and if you're just now getting started with photography, you're buying your first camera, it makes sense to just go ahead and get in at the start of mirrorless right now as the technology continues to grow and get better and better because I think it's the future of cameras. If you disagree, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear all y'all's thoughts. But that's it for me today. Thank you guys for listening to my thoughts. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button for more. Remember on Thursday at noon, the new hats release as well as the book will finally be available on my site, evanramp.com. So stay tuned for that. There'll be announcements on my Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all are the truth. I'll see you next time.